Which foods should I eat if I have prediabetes? Borderline diabetes is the stage before type 2 diabetes develops. By, the, by this stage, blood sugar, blood pressure and insulin resistance may start reaching harmful levels. Prediabetes does not usually cause active symptoms and most people will not be aware they have the condition until it becomes diabetes and starts causing severe health problems. It is therefore essential for anyone who is at risk of developing diabetes to receive regular screening. Risk factors include high BMI and waist circum circumference, an age of more than 45 years or other cardiovascular diseases. Prediabetes is often reversible with a sustained exercise program and a balanced low sugar diet. Fat and fiber tend to slow absorption and lower what is called the glycemic index or GI of foods. Low glycemic index fruits and vegetables such as stone ground whole wheat bread, rolled or steel cut oatmeal, non-starchy vegetables and whole fruit are good choices. The American Diabetes Association recommends choosing foods with a glycemic index or GI of 55 or less. You can use this database to find the glycemic index of common foods. Diabetes Prevention Program The Diabetes Prevention Program or DPP was a long-term study that aimed to identify practical steps for reducing diabetes risk and reversing prediabetes. The people who took part in the Diabetes Prevention Program Lifestyle Change Program aimed to lose 7% of their body weight and maintain this loss through dietary changes and activity. After three years, the results of a program showed a 58% drop in the risk of developing diabetes regardless of sex or ethnicity compared with those who took a placebo. A 71% drop in risk people of developing type 2 diabetes among people aged over 60 years. All the people in the program received motivational support on effective diet and exercise and attended lifestyle change classes for the duration of the study. Follow-ups took place regularly. After 15 years, people in the Diabetes Prevention Program Lifestyle Change, change Program continued to see a delay in the onset of diabetes compared to people who took a medication called metform metformin or a placebo. Anyone who developed diabetes during the study received extra medical care. However, diet and exercise remained important in managing symptoms and reducing the risk of complications.